In this video, I'm going to give you my top tips for getting into cybersecurity in 2019. Stick around. So if you're new here, welcome. My name is Chris. I'm a self-taught pen tester and I make a ton of cybersecurity educational and hands-on uh, practical videos. If that's something you're interested in, go ahead and subscribe to the channel and ring the bell to get notifications for all my new videos. Okay, now if you need me for a penetration test on your website, for one-on-one -on -one penetration testing coaching, or if you need to consult with me on cybersecurity issues, get in touch using the links in the description. And if you want to learn how to code with Python, check out my Python basics course in which I teach you the fundamentals of Python that will help you in cybersecurity and penetration testing. Link in the description for that as well. All right, now let's get down to business. So uh, you're constantly hearing the buzzword cybersecurity thrown around um, and you actually naturally start wondering what it's all about. Uh, you want to put your Google Kung Fu skills uh, to work and you decide you might want to get into cybersecurity. So what do you do? Number one, if you know nothing about cybersecurity and or computer related stuff, uh, what I would say is to take a beginner level introductory course in cybersecurity. And I suggest uh, this free course from EDX, which gives you a very broad perspective of the field. Um, and also this one from Plural Sight, uh, which is called the Information Security Big Picture, which is also available with a free trial. And this uh, course, this Plural Sight course is uh, taught by Troy Hunt, who is a very respected figure in the field. Link uh, or links for both courses in the description of this video. Okay, now you have a better idea of what cybersecurity is and the fact that since it's a very large field, you will probably want to be very specific. You could, for example, become a reverse engineer or you might want to get into DevSecOp or you could be a malware analyst or a network security engineer or a penetration tester. So number two, you need to be extremely specific. I think you don't wanna be a jack of all trades because uh, you will really actually be good at nothing. So let's say you wanna start with a focus on penetration testing and as you get better, you could pivot into other cybersecurity fields. How do you start in pen testing? And this uh, actually leads us to number three, get skills. And how do you do that? Well, by taking online courses and watching YouTube videos about penetration testing. You can take uh, well-structured online courses for free on Cybery, EDX, Coursera, FutureLearn, Class Central, and I believe even Udemy has some free stuff uh, on uh, penetration testing too. Now, uh, you can get skills by reading penetration testing books as well and practicing uh, along as you read. Um, and uh, here's a video about my penetration testing, uh, my top uh, favorite penetration testing books in 2019. Uh, and you can also, and most importantly, uh, get practical by breaking into intentionally made vulnerable machines on safe and legal platforms such as uh, TryHackMe, VaultHub, HackTheBox, Attack Defense Labs, and uh, others. Here's a video about uh, some of my top picks for hands-on penetration testing skills in terms of platforms. Uh, I'll also post a link in the description for all these uh, resources that, I that I'm mentioning here. Okay, now number four, and this is very uh, important. This is a very important tip because cybersecurity is most often than not all about being hands-on super practical. So tip number four, show your skills. Um, if you're a programmer, make scripts uh, about your uh, cybersecurity endeavors and post them uh, on your GitHub account. Uh, 
If you're solving challenges on the platforms that, that I mentioned earlier, post walkthroughs of them, uh, like I'm doing on this channel. If you, for uh, some reason, don't like showing up on camera, uh, start a free blog on Medium and write those walkthroughs there. After writing or doing video walkthroughs, share them all over social media like Facebook groups, uh, Twitter, Peerlist, LinkedIn. Or if you don't like that, if you don't like being too public, you can share them more privately on platforms such as Discord, Reddit, or NetSec Focus. Uh, if you don't show your skills, no one will do that for you. Okay, now my final tip uh, is about getting opportunities in the field and this has uh, actually worked wonders for me. And I'm only going to talk uh, briefly about it because I have a longer video upcoming on the topic. So make sure to subscribe if you don't want to miss it. And you don't want to miss it. So uh, my top tip on how to get job offers is to brush up your LinkedIn profile and start connecting with people in the field. Uh, now, I know this may sound bland and plain boring. Uh, I used to think like that as well, but once I started creating uh, a more complete LinkedIn profile, once I started adding all the online courses I took in cybersecurity, uh, remember, I have a master's degree in civil engineering, so I'm actually self-taught in cybersecurity. Once I started posting walkthrough videos uh, and once I started connecting with cybersecurity people, more and more recruiters started contacting me for job offers. And right now I keep getting opportunities every week. Um, yeah, so if you need my help with building your professional profiles, go to the coaching link uh, in the description and book a call. All right, so these are my top tips for getting into cybersecurity in 2019. Now, question for you. How did you get to actually watching this video? Uh, are you uh, looking to get into cybersecurity or you're already working in the field? If you're working in the field, what's your job? Comment down below and uh, let me know. Now, before you bounce off, I'd appreciate if you share this video around so we can grow this channel together. Also, don't forget to check the description of this video for discounts on my Python basics course for penetration testing services and for one-on-one -on -one coaching. With that said, until next time, thank you for watching.